Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Yes, we're doing another voiceover. It's because it's really busy at the event and it's working out cleaner for me to do it this way rather than trying to filter it out with AI. Anyway, massive ROG routers. They are getting ridiculously uh, powerful, yes. Feature packed, yes but obviously the cost is starting to creep up as well because of it. Now the ROG Raptor GTBE 19000 is very feature packed. Uh, it's now Wi-Fi 7. Now, when you look at the specs, you'll see it only goes up to Wi-Fi 6. It's a common misconception that Wi-Fi 7 uses seven gigahertz or 6.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. What Wi-Fi 7 does give you is the full scope of what six gigahertz has to offer. Uh, so if your country, like the UK does now, does support 6 GHz Wi-Fi, you do get a fairly large bump in performance. But because of that, it means you need the router to be able to co cope with the performance as well, which is why it's now the processor in this now has a 30% faster CPU. Although the CPU details are a bit light on the ground, but I'm hoping when it comes to review time, we will get uh, more information. One thing that we can say is it's got 256 megabyte of flash memory and then two gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, but it's the connections really that you need to pay more attention to. So there are four 2.5 gig LANs. One of those shared is a WAN as well, but you also get two 10G LANs Again, one of those is shared as a, la uh, uh, as a WAN. If you need 10 gig WAN, then wow, you've got some epic internet coming into your house. But anyway, uh, the fact that you could, can technically use uh, one of your 2.5G uh, LANs, WANs is your input, and then you've got a couple of 10Gs that you can pump out to uh, computers in your network, or one computer and your NAS, and then have a 10G hookup it's probably exactly where I'm gonna end up going with mine. It will be a home server on one and then my main rig on the other. So lots and lots of very cool stuff, but basically Asus then took me to a separate room and in the separate room, they actually showed me an exploded version of the router itself. Now you can see the huge red aluminum anodized heatsink that covers pretty much the entirety of uh, the unit itself. Now I was really surprised at the size of the heatsink, but then just down the left hand side you can see there are three more and they are all in the router itself. Um, like I think we're on the cusp of needing water cooled routers at this rate and that sounds like a mod project that I really need to be doing myself if I'm honest. Hanging an AIO out the top of your uh, router would be insane. But also while I was there uh, I found this. And this, I didn't get any video footage of it. And if I'm honest, because of the lights that they put above it, it looks kind of purpley and stuff. But this is a white version of this router. A little birdie tells me this might be uh, an Asus version rather than just an ROG version, but they should relatively be similar. Now this is such a prototype at the moment. There is actually no base in it. There's no power supply in it or anything. Like it is just the white top. But that white top was enough to give me goosebumps. That white top was enough to make me salivate. And that white top was enough for me to say, yes, please, I'd love one. Because at the end of the day, we don't really get white routers. And the white stuff at home is becoming so commonplace. This wouldn't stand out if you put it on a nice white sideboard in the corner of your room, your desk, or your office, and it would still look amazing. So yes, please, Asus, I know you're on the fence about whether you should make this or not, but I would very much like one. And if you're not gonna make it, please can I come and pick that shell up and take the actual black one apart so that I can build my own one instead. Anyway, this has been Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Please check uh, all of the other Computex footage and videos and stuff that I am doing on the channel and like, subscribe and comment if you are enjoying it. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will be back with another video very soon.